Hi everyone, I'm going to tell you what to do in January for your garden. Um, it's very gloomy out, probably most places, and you might think, well, there's not much to do, but there's actually uh, January, there's a decent amount to do. So uh, first of all, continue your cleanup, because if you've, you know, oh, hold on, you say, say hi, say hi Rufus, it's the new kitty. You just got him a few weeks ago, he's 14, so likes it here. Um, clean up so if you have like say diseased plants always make sure you pick up the leaves underneath it's just good practice now you also want to spray liquid copper hopefully you already got one spray in for your peaches and nectarines remember this is going to prevent peach leaf curl and you could also spray liquid copper on other plants like apricots if they have shot hole fungus um, and any other plant that you think might be suffering from a fungus this is it's a liquid copper is a general purpose uh, fungicide and I think it is considered safe to use in organic uh, gardens it's one of those that you sort of uh, sort of on the borderline but it is uh, considered I think okay to use um, in organic gardens and so pruning, speaking of fruit trees, pruning. Yes, you can start pruning your fruit trees. I, however, like to wait until uh, they get closer to leafing out or budding out, which for us in zone nine is anywhere like mid-February to, to March. I just like to do the pruning when they start actively growing because I feel like the wounds heal much faster. And speaking of the wounds, don't cover them with any paint or anything. If you do a nice clean cut, don't leave any nubs, prune outside the branch collar, which is sort of let that donut shaped swollen area at the base of the branch. You don't need anything uh, covering them. They're gonna heal themselves just fine. With that said, don't prune probably a day before we expect rains, a day or two. So just let them dry out a little bit before rains hit them. Um, you could also purchase your bare root fruit trees right now and other bare root plants such as roses. January is when the nurseries start getting them. So sometimes they pot them directly up into pots, but you could still treat them like bare root. Um, other times they just sort of heal them in into sawdust or sand pits, and that way you can inspect the roots as well. Remember if you want a short fruit tree bush and it hasn't been pruned down for you, prune it down to at least three good nodes so you get a uh, sort of a good scaffolding, but lower down than if you just plant it at its height that it comes in. And you can still plant other things um, vegetable wise. You could plant radishes, you could plant your loose leaf lettuce, uh, you still plant fava bean seeds. And uh, we're actually transitioning for zone nine going into uh, February. You could start planting another round of broccoli and cauliflower. Um, and remember to just uh, keep your succulents dry. If you have them in pots and they're out where they're getting inundated with rain, you wanna move them closer because they don't need that and they can rot. They're more sensitive than your leafy plants uh, to, to rot when they get wet. Um, make sure you put compost in mulch. You could still do that. If you're in beds, your beds you're not planting, go ahead and put compost on top, incorporate it in. It'll give it a good time to break down and start uh, helping your soil. So when you plant in spring, Smother winter weeds. You could use cardboard and mulch on top of that to just smother some of the, the winter weeds that we are so fortunate to get in warmer climates. And let's see if there's anything else. Oh, wildflower seeds. You could still cascade. Some California natives and wildflower seeds are coming, our plants are coming up already, uh, but you could still sprinkle out seeds since the soil's wet and we're getting some rains, it'll water them in. Sweet peas, not too, too late to plant sweet peas. Of course, right now, it's sweet pea seeds. So if you forgot in the fall, go ahead and plant them now. And let's see, bare root, clean up, spray. Um, yeah, other than that, that is your uh, January to-do list in the garden. So I hope that helps. Happy gardening.